This is Code.org, and I'm working on the Accelerated Intro to CS course. I'm currently on the Lesson the Farmer. I'm working late, so it's dark out. Oh, no. <laughs> and I can't tell how large the piles are. Oh, jeez. Now I knew there was a catch. Now I don't have all the options I used to have on the wall block. Move me along the field, and if there's a pile, remove it. Oh, okay. So it says one, but from what we're saying, what she's saying, I don't think it is one. Let's try. Move forward and remove. Let's give this. I don't think it's going to work, but we're trying. Oh, now I'm digging holes. Oh, so wall is just wall. Oh. Hmm. I can only use five blocks. Well, that's too many. Wait a minute. What's this? If there is a pile, do. Wait a minute. Let me give it to that. So if there's a pile, and notice this looks kind of similar to the wall loop, except it's blue. Let's see. Wall path ahead. If there is a pile, what would I want to do? Well, I want to remove it. But even if there's not a pile, I need to move forward each time. Um. So where's that? And I, I could put it here or here. It should work either way. I'll put it up here. Either way, though. So first, I want to move forward. Then I'm going to check if there's a pile. If there's a pile, what happens? I remove it. If there's no pile, it just skips the remove. So I won't dig a hole. The only time it's going to remove is if this is true. If there's a pile, do this. Okay, I'll remove. Then I hit the bottom, move forward one. Is there a pile? Then I'm going to remove. So it works just like our wall loop. Let's try it out. And notice that sometimes this becomes yellow, remove. It only becomes yellow when there's a pile, because if there's a pile, I remove it. We got it. Onward!